that's funny. I remember making that slide back in the day. All right, I think we're live. Let's see who's in here. Anthony. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, everyone. Come and join us. Say something in the chat so I can see who's coming. We have the chat on the side, so make sure. Ah, hi, there we are. Um, welcome, guys. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, everybody, to uh, Morning Cartooning with Teacher Noah. I am Teacher Noah. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody for joining. Um, I know this is like very tough times right now, and uh, and yeah, I, I appreciate everybody taking the time to to do this. I personally love drawing. And, uh, but I love drawing with other people even more. And so I'm really excited to start to draw with everybody here. Um, now we also have the chat in the side, so make sure you uh, say hi in the chat. And if you have any questions uh, for me, I will be able to answer them based off the chat. So just uh, feel free. Hi, Caleb. Hi, Blaine. Uh, let's see who else is here. Zoe's here. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Coonies. Very cool. All right, we're gonna get, I'm just gonna make sure everybody's signed in. Um, and then we'll get started on our lesson today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, in the meantime, while you're preparing for your, for uh, while we're letting everybody sign in, make sure everything is good like that, we're gonna be using paper, pencils, and color. So whether that's markers or colored pencils, anything will work. Hi, Emmy and Kai. Thanks for joining. All right. Um, I like to start off uh, my classes with letting everybody know what we're going to be doing in the classes. Um, so I have on my first slide, um, can we pull up our first slide? And I have a little timeline of what we're going to be doing today in class. Let's see who else is here. Jocelyn is here. Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, guys. Hi, Leslie and Glory. Uh, yes, this is going to be interactive. I'm going to be able to uh, ask you guys if, uh, well, I mean, I'm going to be able to answer your questions. I'm going to be able to um, take drawing requests as we draw. Um, so when we do a couple activities, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you guys are going to be able to throw up some comments. And then afterwards, you guys can submit your art to me. And for the next live stream that we do, you guys can uh, see me uh, see you be featured on our live stream. So very interactive. But just for everybody's privacy, we're going to keep the chat one way. So uh, you guys don't also have to get out of your pajamas. And you can just look at me in mine. All right. so. Right here, this is, this is our timeline for uh, a morning cartoon and game plan. And you can see at the top, we have, let's see who else is here. Oh, can we turn up my volume maybe a little bit? I'm going to make sure it's harder to hear. Hi, Kevin. Glad to see you. Buenos dias. And I think good afternoon for everybody that's on the East Coast. We have our introduction, the good morning introduction. And then we also have quote of the day. And then we have shapes and colors. And then we're going to take a break, which is we're going to do some like physical activity just to move around and uh, keep the blood pumping. And then we're going to do some color and texture activity. And then I'm going to give you guys a challenge at the end of the class. And then I will, uh, I will sign off, and I will see you guys at the next time. But for now. Let's start out with, hi Hector, um, let's start off with a nice deep breath in and out. All right, let's start. So our quote of the day comes from Mr. Rogers, 
and he says, play is the real work of childhood, which I love because uh, kids just naturally um, are players. They, they like to play hard. Um, and uh, what's cool about it is that um, you can have just as much fun and take it just as seriously uh, as adults do when they work. But uh, with kids, it's just play, and it's a lot of fun, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to play around with some colors and shapes and uh, experiment a little bit, too. So for our first activity, which is going to be shapes and colors, I want you guys to get out a sheet of paper, and we're going to draw a bunch of shapes on this piece of paper. So I'm going to show you my screen right here. And I'm going to draw a couple funny shapes. And we're going to fill up the entire page with shapes and colors. Let's see who else is joining our group. Hi, Sienna. Hi, Kevin. Some of you guys, I don't know your names off of the um, the names that you have up there. All right. I'm going to open this up one more time. Can we go to the camera on me for a second? Cool. Awesome. All right. Now I think it should be it should work if we switch back to the Procreate file. <coughs> All right, so here's my, pa uh, my page. There we go. And we're going to draw, we're going to fill up this page with a bunch of different shapes. There we go. I'm going to make sure I get on the right brush. I'm using just a regular uh, 6B pencil brush. That way, if you guys are just following at home, you can use a 6B pencil brush too, or a 6B pencil. So we're going to fill this page up with lots of varying different shapes. Um, we just want them to be simple, closed figures. Um, they're not going to be, we're going to try to avoid doing anything like a a uh, triangle or a square or a circle, we're just going to make them a little bit weirder than that. Like this. Let's see. Cool. Hi, Callista, Eddie, Kiri, and Kira, and Ms. Cooney. And hi, Janice. Nice to meet you. All right, there we go. We got a picture and a picture. Cool. So keep on filling uh, your piece of paper with a bunch of different shapes. And what's cool about this game is that there's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, these shape games, uh, this shape can be anything you want it to be. few more shapes in while you guys are also adding your shapes. We're going to fill up the entire page with a bunch of funny shapes. And yes, I'm using Procreate right now. Uh, it's an app that you can get on uh, any Apple product. You can use it on an iPhone or an iPad. And if you're not using an iPhone or an iPad, you can uh, download an app that I really like. It's called Autodesk Sketchbook, um, and that you can do a lot of the similar things. All right. There's a way for glory. <coughs> All right. Now, once you have all of your shapes figured out, we're going to move on to the next part, which I really like, is we're going to use colors. So if you have markers or if you have colored pencils, 
this is the time to break those out. All right. Cool. Just making sure everybody's following along, right? Um, now, what the, what the fun part of this activity is, is you're going to take each color and try to create a character based off of one of these shapes. And the goal is to not draw the character too far out of the shape that it takes over the shape, but we're going to use the general idea of the shape to create a character. Let's see what we got here. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes it helps to rotate the page, or you can um, rotate you whatever you want to do to help you get inspired. Let's see. I feel like this guy's got a really funny clown nose. So I'm going to give him a clown hat or maybe an ear. There we go. Let's pick a different color now. <laughs> All right. And if you guys see anything in my shapes, please suggest, and I'll try to draw it in, and we'll try to figure out what, what the shape is, and then we can draw in that shape. Let me see, what else do we got? Oh, I have an idea. And if you guys can guess what I'm drawing as I'm drawing it, um, that would be cool too. Can anybody guess what this one is? There we go. I think it's finally coming together a little bit. Sunglasses, ooh, that is a good one for that. All right, let's pick another one. Let's see. OK, I'm going to show you guys which one I'm going to do next. I'm going to give you guys a chance to suggest something. OK, I'm thinking we do, let's do this one right here. And I'm going to use orange. Yep, bike rider is right. Very nice job, you guys. Awesome. You see sunglasses next to my blocks. Oh, a baby carriage, boy and a bike. All right, let me see. I'm going to think of something else, too. Mm. Any suggestions for this orange one? Now, what I like to do, if you're, if you're drawing along and you get stuck, you can always try to do some of like the bigger categories and then narrow it down. Uh, sometimes that helps when things are too big and too overwhelming. I like to simplify them down. So if I'm stuck on a shape and I can't think of anything, I'll try to think to myself, all right, what kind of animal can I do? And what kind of animal can I make this? Or even simplify it even more and be like, what kind of reptile or what kind of fish or bird can I do? And that's, that's a way that will help you narrow it down. But you could also do other categories. You could do like, what kind of vehicle can this be? Or what would this look like if it was a person? And so you can give yourself kind of a bracket, and that'll help you come up with more ideas for it.
Oh, a bunny or a bird, that's pretty good too. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take what you guys gave me and I'm gonna be inspired to do something else. That way we can all still guess what it is. Okay, let's see. Can you guys guess what this is yet? And voila. All right. Nice. All right, let's pick a new color. Did we do blue yet? No, we did not. Mm, ooh, okay, this one looks like a fun shape. I'm going to pick this shape right here. Mouse or rat? Yes, that's right. The mine with the hat for an orange cone. <laughs> a tiny squirrel. Hi, Blaine. Welcome. Cheers. All right. Also, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. Uh, are you guys getting stuck anywhere? Do you need more uh, help or tips that can help get through the artist block? Um, I'm here for you. Okay, what can this one be, this blue one? A plant, too. That's what I was thinking it kind of looked like a mushroom. Let's see. Hi, Kylie. Not like snowman. <laughs> Bird. My bird is biting the pencil while I draw. <laughs> Hello, Sienna's bird. All right, let's let's make this into something. Hmm. All right, this one I feel like being a little bit more abstract with it. Oh, a hammerhead would have been good. I didn't even think of that. I like that idea. Hello, Luigi. There we go. That's your bird's name. All right. Let's do another one. We haven't used the color purple yet. Mm. Let's do a hard one. Let's see this one. Can we come up with something for this one? with a baby dragon idea. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's right, it is the man with the hat. Um, <laughs> All right. Now hopefully while I'm drawing, you guys are also drawing on your shapes too. Um, and we're gonna keep on going for just a little bit longer and then I'm gonna move on after I do this purple one. Okay, this purple one can be, I got an idea, I got an idea. All right, let's see. It kind of reminds me of that little salamander creature from Frozen 2. Have you guys seen that one? There we go. 
go. Cool. You use more than one color. Yes, of course, use more than one color. Um, absolutely. And actually, we're going to start to use a little bit more colors right now. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to color some of our pictures. Now, if you have markers, great. If you are using color pencils, that also works too. What we're going to do is we're going to shade over our colors, um, over our drawings that we have right now with a different color. We're going to try to blend some colors that'll look nice over it. So I think for our biker, I think using a nice yellow color would actually look really cool. There we go. Nice. I think I see a lot of people uh, that forget that they can blend colors in. And I think, yes, uh, oh, it's a snake. Um, a squirrel, too. Oh, yeah, if you're, do if you're doing this on a tablet, this can be on a new layer, too. That way you can hide it like this and unhide it like that. But yeah, I think it's really fun to be able to uh, blend colors. So if you're using even a piece of paper, you can blend some colors in and create different color mixtures. So we're going to, let's color in this mouse. And we're, right now we're just messing with different color combinations just to see how they work together. Blue and orange are actually um, opposite colors on the spectrum, on the color wheel. And so when they're put together, they create a very light, vibrant um, effect. Cool. All right. Oh, we need to color this orange little lizard guy. So a good app, um, um, a good app would be, oh, you did a crested gecko. Nice. A good app, sorry, would be um, Procreate. If you're using like an Apple product, uh, that's the one that I'm using. It's called Procreate. And another good app, if you're not using an Apple product, if you're using like a Windows tablet, would be um, uh, Autodesk Sketchbook. I like those two the most. Right, Procreate costs $10, but it's just a one-time fee. So, and it's a very good app for only $10. So. I think, I feel like it's worth it for me. All right, I think we want something like kind of fiery for this gecko character. So let's see how these two colors mix together. Cool. All right. Hi, Kevin. Cool. All right. Now, of course, we have a lot of other um, uh, we have a lot of other shapes that we can fill in. But for right now, we're going to pause and we're going to take a break and we're going to do some movement exercises. All right, I'm going to move my table. And let's try this out. Um, I'm going to stay right here seated um, so, that we can, so that you guys can uh, follow along and so that I don't get cut off from the camera. But we're going to do some stretches. Um, I want you guys to reach your arms up way up, 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 up high. Stretch out. And then I want you to stretch your arms out to the side like this. Very good. Cool. Now, the reason we're stretching is because uh, a lot of times artists that draw 
they stay seated, seated, uh, seated for a very long time and then they start having bad posture problems or their hands start to cramp up. And I don't want you guys to have any of those problems. I want you guys to stay healthy and also active too. So we're gonna stretch out our hands. We're gonna shake out our hands like this, like that. Keep them loose. And then we're gonna do a thing. This is I learned when I was in martial arts class. You take your fingers like this and you bend them back like that. And you slowly stretch your arms like that. And that'll help loosen up your, your tendons and your arms um, and your forearms. There we go. We can do that for your other hand too. Stretch. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, a lot of these exercises I use, um, or like stretches that I use, are also are mainly for the arms because that's what you're using a lot when you're drawing. Um, it's important when you draw to stay loose. So if you're getting all stuck down and you're going like this and you're bending down and you're keeping it all really tight within your wrist, that's going to hurt your wrist after a while. So we don't want that to happen. So we want to draw with our whole arm with our, from either our shoulder or our elbow like that. Um, but that also means that we've got to stretch out our whole arm. So we're going to stretch out your arms like this. Uh, stretch out your arms like that. There we go. All right. And also, while we're stretching in the comments, let me know what uh, kind of things that you guys came up with in your shape game, too. All right. Oh, we got one more stretch. I think that we can do. Stretch like that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Then we're going to roll our shoulders. Just roll your shoulders like that. And then roll them forwards like that. And that's good to help you just stay loose. And we can twist our back like this. And twist it back like that. Cool. All right. And then we can roll our necks around like this. Roll it in a nice big circle. And then the other way. Awesome. Tilt it side to side. You came up with this snail. Very nice. And you tilt it forwards and back like that. <coughs> All right. Now, I also have my cup of water right here. So you guys can drink some water, too. It's good to stay hydrated. It keeps you awake and alert. Lots of birds, two reptiles, a rat and a cat. Nice. Um, also, hopefully, with your shape game, I did mostly characters like animals and um, people, but you can definitely do uh, cars, you can do houses, you can do trees or plants. Um, you can do a lot of different things. All right. And we got to stretch our, our back, too, just to make sure we're staying in good posture. So you want to stretch out your back like this. There we go. And then lean all the way forwards. Okay. I'm feeling pretty stretched. I feel a little bit more awake. If you need to get up and walk and do a lap, absolutely, you can do that too. Um, if not, we're going to move on to the next slide. All right. Nice. Oh, thank you. Um, they are your pajamas. All right. Uh, our next, <laughs> our next um, uh, activity that we're going to do is colors and textures. And now you might be asking yourself, what is a texture? Well, I have got you covered. All right. A texture is the, is the feel, appearance, or consistency of a surface or a substance. So for example, I have very fuzzy texture right here. But then right here, it's not very fuzzy at all. It's just kind of like soft felt. All right. I love Calvin and Hobbes. Um, good question. I always grew up reading Calvin and Hobbes, and I still have all of the books now. Oh, that's cool. You have an alien, too, and a dinosaur? I don't think we drew any dinosaurs. We should draw one. Um, a whale, nice, and a hamster, too. Very cool. Um, nice, another whale. Um, Sea creatures are good because they usually have a nice flow. And so with the shape game, you always have a good flow too. Um, but yeah, so a texture is anything that you can like feel or it looks kind of bumpy um, or it has a different consistency. So even like a liquid can have a texture. 
um, what kind of textures do you guys know um, and what kind of textures are your favorite textures to feel and what kind of textures do you guys not like to feel? Um, uh, I don't like the sound when like snow gets crunched and it makes that crunching sound. That gives me chills and so I don't like that uh, texture at all. Um, write in the comments what kind of textures you guys like and what kind of textures you don't like. I know a lot of people love those like satiny blankets that are like so cozy, especially on days like this when we're stuck inside. Um, those are really good textures. Um, I love I love the texture of wood. Um, I think it looks really cool. It's not so nice to feel, but I feel like it looks really cool. So you could also comment what kind of textures you feel like look really cool. What we're going to try to do next is we're going to exit out of this and let's try to draw some textures. Now also a trick, uh, I'm going to pick like a brown color. A trick for finding the brown color with, if you're using an app, is you go to like the orange reddish section <coughs> and you can uh, go down to the bottom where it's a little bit closer to the black uh, black side down at the bottom and, um, and get a little bit away from the saturation and that's usually a good brown color. So let's try, I want to see, let me see. Yeah, there's cotton ball. Oh yeah, cotton balls are the worst. They, they make that like crunchy sound that I think uh, snow does too. Um, and just, it, I don't even know how to make that sound or like what word you would describe that sound, but that's definitely up there with one of the worst sounds. Um, soft fur is very nice. Um, okay. I'm gonna slow down just a little bit so that uh, the lagging hopefully isn't too bad. Scales, oh, scales are so cool. Um, I have two pet turtles, and I always grew up having reptiles, and I love that snakes um, could shed their skin, and it would just peel right off, and you could have a full snake skin, and you could see all the detail in their textures. All right, what else have we got? Somebody drew a pregnant lady, a bat, a giraffe, a bunny, and a skull. That is a full range right there. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Velcro, mm, yeah. Velcro is, 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 not, is not one of the good ones. Um, especially when it scratches you, um, that's the worst. When, you, when you're going to like, put on a jacket or something like that and your hand like, scratches on the Velcro, that hurts. Scales are awesome. Okay, let's try to draw some wood texture. Okay, I wanna draw, I wanna start going like this. And while I'm drawing it, you guys can either follow along with the wood texture that I'm drawing, or you can try to draw your own textures too. Let's see. Now wood always seems to have those, those little knots in it, so I'm gonna give some more detailed line, lines for the knot. There we go. Jocelyn, I love scales too. I think we should draw scales next. What do you think? <laughs> Fake grass and super smooth. Super smooth what? All right. And what I like about wood texture is that it's not straight lines or perfect lines, so it's pretty easy to get that texture um, when you're drawing because it's really hard to draw straight lines or smooth lines. There we go. Cool. I think we're going to call it there. Okay, I'm going to pick a yellowish green color and let's draw some scales. Can we draw textures on animals and objects, or is that later? That is later. We're going to add, but we're going to do it in a, in a little bit different way than I think you're expecting. So be uh, ready for that. It's going to be really fun. OK, baby skin. Oh, that's a, that's a weird thing to add as a texture, but they are very soft. Um, um, soft fur. Um, when I draw my pet crested 
geckos are very fun to draw. Oh yeah, so a funny, a fun fact, um, and this is why I like doing the live streams with the comments and the questions, is that what you guys say inspires me to tell you guys other stories that I know. So when uh, Sienna said that she, do you like peaches, Sarah, or do you not like peaches? That's what I want to know. Um, when uh, she draws her crested gecko, so Picasso, Pablo Picasso, who did the, a lot of the cubisms and like the funky looking pictures, he used to have a pet dove, and he used to draw the dove over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And after he drew it so many times, he became like an expert in just drawing pencil drawing in general, even though he was drawing the same thing, because he would draw it from all different kinds of angles. A bird, uh, like a dove, has a lot of different textures on it too. It has like the smooth, shiny eyes, and then it has the sleek feathers, and then it also has like the scaly or like the, the skin texture of the feet, um, which is really cool. And so just by drawing the simple dove, he was able to learn a lot about drawing. So even if you're drawing the same thing, you can still learn a lot. Um, Oh yeah, if you guys want, um, follow me on Instagram. Um, it's at teacher.noah. And also follow CTN Burbank on Instagram. They're, this is where I am right now. I'm in the CTN studio in Burbank, uh, which once uh, we're not on lockdown, you guys can come and visit and see all the different kinds of shows. Um, and we have statues and books and everything like that here. Um, and they have art classes here. So if you like doing figure drawing, where you draw characters and people that are in costume, uh, we have a lot of really cool models here that you guys can come in and draw on the week uh, on Wednesdays. Um, and then also we're doing the live stream, right? For the figure drawing, yeah. So on Wednesdays, uh, you guys can see the live stream and actually draw the models from home. So that's really cool too. All right, let's get to our scales. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with a grid, like kind of like a diamond grid. Cactus. I hope cactus isn't one of the textures that you like to draw. An avocado. <laughs> Sticky. Nice. All right. And we're going to make this like that. We're going to do the texture like this. And now I know these don't look like scales just yet, but we're going to add some shading in. Um, and that's going to help us out a little bit. So I know I didn't show some of you. Um, who don't know how to shade yet, um, don't worry about that right now. We're going to learn how to do shading on a different episode. But for right now, just try to do your best that you can. And let's try to shade these in. Let's see. So the idea for shading for right here is we're just going to pick a quarter, a corner of all the squares and shade in from that same corner like this. And slowly, it's going to start to look more and more like scales. I like that. Yes. Green was also my favorite color growing up, so that's a double plus. <laughs> Matt, my cameraman, is laughing at me right now. Uh, How are you guys doing in the comments? Awesome. Oh, you want to learn how to draw a cat? Oh, so at the end of the class, I'm going to show you guys, or you can send it right now to my email, um, and you can send me your art, and we can look at it at next live stream video, which will be on Thursday morning. Crunchy peanut butter. I love country crunchy peanut butter. Not country peanut butter. <laughs> and I'm going to also include a link. You can see my link for my email right there for where you can email my art or your art. Um, yes, we're going to do we're going to do a bunch of different sketches too, um, just on a different week. Today we're going to stick with colors and shapes and textures. Um, um, we're going to learn about figure drawing sketches and how to draw uh, people really well. And then we're also going to learn how to do like a human face and the human hands and how to draw that. Uh, and we could also do animals too. 
in the meantime, while we while we don't necessarily aren't going to draw a cat, we can draw some fur. And maybe I'll just maybe I'll add it to a cat face, just because that'll help you guys. So let's see. We're going to add some fur to this cat. There we go. I already can tell this is going to look like a Totoro or like a Cheshire, Cheshire cat. I feel like this cat is like a little bit too um, too not grumpy enough <laughs> for a cat. There we go. All right, now let's add some fur onto this cat. <clears throat> so with hair texture, a lot of people try to go way too detail with the hair, and they try to draw every single hair. Um, but um, the trick is to actually keep it simple. So I'm going to block out some shapes for the fur, like this. And then we're going to add in a couple hairs here and there for the cat. And that'll give it the illusion of hair. And really quick, we'll just do a little tuft of hair right here. go. Cool. All right, what textures are you guys coming up with to, uh, to draw? And you see how I didn't draw right here, um, where I didn't draw all the lines, but I actually just gave the illusion that it's all for by drawing a couple lines. When can we draw Sonic? <laughs> Do you mean the, the old Sonic or the new Sonic? The one that they edited that doesn't look creepy. Let's give him some hair on the top of his head. Nice. I always love the cats that had like those little like hair tufts coming out of their ears at the top of their ears. I always thought that was a good look. Not for people, but for cats. <clears throat> All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, how about we do a mix of one last one? We're going to do a mix between a cactus and sonics. We're going to do like a very prickly porcupine. Um, uh, I mean, hedgehog uh, cactus. Sonic is not a porcupine. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see, if we were to mix here, you know what? I want to start a new layer for us. There we go. Oh, nice. What? Real time. All right, cool. Very cool. All right, let's keep on doing, uh, doing this Sonic, uh, Sonic to Cactus. Here we go. Now I'm trying to remember. I feel like my drawing of Sonic is going to look like the old CG version, which nobody liked. Something's not right with that eye. Let's fix this up a little bit. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Old Sonic. Everybody's saying do Old Sonic. I love it. Um, uh, Yoda. I feel like I've drawn Yoda enough for, for a lot of you guys. Um, I've definitely drawn that a couple of times in my classes. We could draw Yoda again, though. This Sonic is not going to get far, though. He's just going to stay right here in his pot. There we go. I feel like this is something I'd see on Tumblr. All right, <clears throat> we're going to leave that for now. I want to switch to one more activity that I wanted to show with you guys before we finish up for today. So, nope, not Zoom. There we go. All right. Now, if you look at the top of the timeline, uh, we did our break, we did our shapes and colors, we did colors and textures, and I have one more uh, colors and textures uh, activity that I wanted us to do. For this one, we're going to go, you can either go outside and leave for a second and then come right back. Um, or you can find something inside the room that you're in right now, like I'm going to do. OK, so the activity is you're going to take a piece of paper, which I have right here. You're going to take a piece of paper. Oh, can we do video and a video? OK, cool. Uh, taking one piece of paper, and you're going to find a texture. What you're going to do then is you're going to take your piece of paper, put it on top of the texture like this, and then you're going to scribble over it with the side of your pencil. If you do it over the top, you're probably going to break your pencil, so that's why I say do it over the side like this. Okay. Then, um, after you rub your pencil on the paper, uh, on the texture, you should actually be able to get that texture onto your page. So on a new piece of paper, we're going to try to, I'm going to challenge you guys to find a new texture somewhere in your room, or if you want to run outside really quick, you can try to find a lot of cool textures. A lot of people use leaves are really good textures, um, trees have good textures, um, the ground. The ground is a little bit hard because sometimes you poke through the paper, but the ground will work also. Some people even use shoes, like I have my shoes right here, and I'm going to try to get a texture. Here we go. I'm doing my shoes because I want to make a really cool zigzag pattern. And then check this out. And that I got on the bottom of my shoes. Now that's one texture, so I'm going to label this one shoes. And now I'm going to go and find another texture. Right here I have, <coughs> I have a stool. Here we go. Let me put it on the other side. All right. Now this stool is made out of wood, so I'm going to use. Uh, so I'm going to try to grab that wood texture with a new color. Let's try green. All right. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to try to get this one in frame this time. So, right here. I'm guessing you guys are all out actually doing that because I don't see a lot of comments right now. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are getting some really cool textures. All right. 
this one came up a little bit softer. Some textures don't show up as well as others. All right, let's put this down. Oh, there's one more texture that I wanted to get. One second. Let's do blue. All right. So the back of this chair, I noticed, has a lot of uh, kind of like a bumpy, almost like a scaly texture. So I'm going to try to do that. Let's see. Cool. And they would. All right, let's check that out. There we go. And it's got those nice little like dotty patterns in there. So now I have three brand new che uh, textures. Um, now in the comments, let me know what kind of textures you guys got. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next part of the craft. Um, So the challenge for today <clears throat> is to find a texture and then add it to your character. And so that's how we're going to add our textures to our characters. So for example, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do um, right here. <clears throat> Let's say we're going to go back to our shape game right here. And then let's add hmm. let's try to add a texture to one of these characters or one we can do a completely new one now All right, so let's say I wanted to make this character into like a, mm, let's make it into a frog. So I'm talking about the one, that big round one underneath the clown. We're going to add the chair texture to the, fro uh, to the shape. Um, I'm going to use the texture that I have already in the app itself. But what I want you guys to do is bring the piece of paper with that shape on it over to the texture, and then you're going to shade over it to get that texture. And this is what it's going to look like. Here we go. Fish scales work well. Um, hopefully, you're not doing fish scales on that. And uh, um, let me see. Oh, cartoon hands, face, eyes, sketches, etc. Yes, we're all gonna we're gonna do all that stuff. Um, we're gonna do cartoon hands and faces, I believe, coming up soon. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys know. Um, I think it might even be our next episode. All right, so right here. Now I put that texture on here. Now I can draw on top of it. I think this came out to be more like a tadpole, but I'm okay with that. All right, there you go. And now you have like a cool little texture that you could add on. Let's do one more texture, and then I think we're going to be done for today. All right, let's see. 
I did the zigzag texture. Let's see if I have that version of that in my. Okay, I do have this texture. Here we go. Let's make, let's add this really cool zigzag texture to the shape and see if we get inspired to do something off of it. So if you're using Procreate, there's a bunch of different textures under brushes. If you go down to the bottom, uh, there's a category that says industrial or it even says textures and you can click a bunch of different textures and you can add on those textures in Procreate. Uh, bumpy wallet. Oh, nice. A target box, hardwood floor, and bumpy wallet. Um, cool. Cabinet table and table cover. And what's interesting is that some of the textures that you might think were very similar are actually very different when you actually do the shading. All right, what can this red thing be? <laughs> mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to combine a couple shapes together. Watch this, ready? It's going to be a big monster face. <laughs> with this tongue out. Tree bark, wood, and patio chair, nice, concrete. How did that concrete work out for you? Usually that breaks my either my pencil or my um, or my bro or my paper. All right. Cool. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I think uh, hopefully I get a lot of emails from you guys. If you check out the this last slide up here, you can email suggestions for what you'd like to learn next. Um, I am open to any suggestions. Um, when I went to school, I had to learn a lot of different uh, techniques and different kinds of styles. So I'm open to teaching and sharing whatever I can share with you. Um, email me at noahfontana at gmail.com. Uh, and if you have any comments or questions, you could always put them underneath the bottom of this video and I can comment to you uh, through it there like that. Or you can contact us on Instagram at teacher.noah uh, teacher or at CTN Burbank. And if you're going to share something on Instagram or on Facebook, you can hashtag it CTN Mornings, and that way we can all see it together. Um, and if you share something to me in an email, um, then I'll be able to share it next, next episode, and everybody can see your drawings from the last class. Cool. Have a good day, guys.